warning, this is a very unique game and is mainly made by hardcore gamers. Unlike recent games, where the gamers are well pampered off. Look at this dude. The build also relies on a special item called the cle the cle Is this a red tear stone build? Here's a fun drinking game. Take a drink every time you hear a scream. You're gonna get absolutely baba boy. Congratulations! You have graduated from pampered gamer to noob gamer! The Soul series is really hard to beat, so it comes at no surprise that over the years there's been a bunch of guides out there trying to help people to beat these for the first time. And these days you can go onto YouTube and find some pretty coherent guides which offer some fantastic advice. But I'd like to take you back to Demon Souls, the first Souls game as we know it today. And if you wanted help with it, you couldn't go onto YouTube. You'd have to go by old school text guides. So it got me thinking, how about we beat the remaster of Demon Souls, but using a guide from 2009. And hopefully, if the remaster is any good, there should be nothing wrong with me taking advice from a guide written in 2009. Toxic Poison Swamp and the Creepy Bug Insects. If they make a Demon Souls 2, I'm sure they won't make the same mistake again. Have I got news for you, Game Facts? Have you heard of Blight Town? <laughs> Before we get into this, there's a massive disclaimer. You know, if the guide is a bit funny, if the guide says some stupid stuff, if he gets some things wrong, come on now. It's just a bit of fun. It's not meant to be too serious. And whenever I kind of point out any problems with it, it's a bit of fun. Just remember that, please. I used a female royal as my base class, as she begins level one and has the stats closest to my final build. What do you mean that a soul level one character has stats closest? This had me extremely curious, so I had to read ahead and have a look at the build outline. The build also relies on a special item called the cle the cl Clever's Rat Ring, Bruh. which boosts your physical damage when you are below 30% health. Is this a red tear stone build? He's saying that we don't level vita we don't level health. And we do a red tear stone ring build. If you have difficulty doing that, you may want to add vitality or try another build. No, 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 game facts. That's where you're wrong. I do it your way or no way. Page one is over. The reason for going to 30 decks is for our primary weapon. The compound Longbow. This is a red tear stone bow build. Let's start with the bow, since most of you idiots don't know how to use it to its fullest potential. No, here's a breakdown of the combat modes. Number one, assassin mode. Just shoot arrows and kill them. And always keep your buttocks firm. If I have to keep my buttocks firm for the entire playthrough, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit myself while playing this. Number two, Hokage mode. I get strong at enemies. They may chase you after you get you too near. Picking off the prey slowly, like the ass like I'm not reading that. I'm sure many people have better ways to fight the enemies. If you want me to add those to the guide, you are welcomed to leave the guide. Trust me, once you play it this way, you will never go back to playing your way. I, I think you're right there, getting facts. I think I'll probably get fucking brain damage after this, I think I'll... So now, after all that intro, it was finally time to start the run. So, welcome to 1-1, one Gates of Boletaria. Red Eyes Knight. Normally, you could only kill it when you're at least soul level 30. That's quite fucking specific. However, I strongly advise you kill it as a soul level 1 royal. Am I out of my mind? No! Relax, new. No. Fucking relax, guys! Take a fucking chill pill! Clear the enemies out first, there's two barrels. I'm assuming he's doing the exploit where you lure him and you make him fall off the edge. Apparently, with the barrels, he just falls off, apparently. Oh, it took a few attempts, but we finally got it. And it told us to go collect our epic loot. Okay, I'll take that epic loot. That's in my monthly... Do you remember... Do you remember Loot Crate? What happened to... What happened to fucking Loot Crate? Hey, Letty, editing the video. Put, put on screen what happened to Loot Crate. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> so far, the run was going pretty smooth until 
I ran out of MP, and then I had to sit still and wait for it to recharge. Oh my god, I've got 500 people watch. I've got the most amount of viewers I've ever had on Twitch. By the way, thanks for coming down. And they're sat here watching my MP recharge. Oh, no way! No way! Mum! 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 Yes? I'm on 443 subscribers! Who gives a shit? Story time. Uh, let's, let's, let's get a story. Me and my friends wanted to get a house. I, because I made some friends at university. I was like, right, let's get a house together. We look on the house. It's a piece of shit house. Like, whatever. But it's got a huge, a massive back garden. The landlady showed us around and goes, oh, no, no. It's not your garden. What do you mean? It's the horse's garden. And we're like, what? And what the deal is, Rupert is a working horse. He is a working beach donkey. And what happens in the winter when his job dries up, when he, has, when he gets fucking sacked, he has to ring up job line. He comes and lives in our back garden. And there's a pony there called Rupert. I'm not joking. Lenny editing the video can put the pictures on screen. He's a, he, a Rupert. So we're having a bit of, we're having a, bit of a celebration. Right, let's have a bit of a drink and stuff. A bit of a piss up. And I'm like, oh, let's go and see Rupert. Yeah, yeah. This image is going to be, is always going to be burned in my mind. I open the back door. His face is right there to the door. Right, right there. He just sta if, if you're the door, he's like this. And I don't know how long he's been standing here. And without saying a word, he just starts trying to come in. He starts trying to make it past me and my friends. And I'm like, let him in. And uh, he was a good lad. I'm trying to think of more stories with him, though. Um, actually, tell you what was a good story. He, he had a, m I don't know how I can say this, but he had a, he had a massive cock. <laughs> right then, it is the first boss. It is an absolute treat. Prepare for your first real challenge with the first boss, Phalanx. Dumb name, if you ask me. No one was asking you, but thanks for the input. Phalanx is basically harmless. It has 40 mini phalanxes that protect him. Once you've defeated enough of them, the phalanx will expose its soft, sexy body. <laughs> Attack the exposed area until it's defeated. <laughs> Congratulations! You have graduated from Pampered Gamer to Noob Gamer! Pampered Gamer to Noob Gamer! I just, one thing though, I have to, I wanna look ahead. I've just skipped to page 10, the next boss. Every boss we kill, we graduate another gamer level. And now it got serious. You know, you, you can forget about me playing through the game of a guide, having a bit of a joke. No, come on now. I needed to see how far these gamer levels could go. And thankfully, the phalanx was easy. It let us use the firebombs. It was no problem. Talk to the maiden in black. In brackets, cute. Shit. She will ask you to talk to the monumental, in brackets, friend zoned already. Sigh. I like the one with the Delaney crossed arms in friend zoned already. Sigh. Buy the heater shield in the Nexus for. 2,000 souls! I know that this will be the majority of your souls, it fucking is. But trust me, people who don't play with shields are brain dead noobs. I'm sorry. Maybe, no, maybe I, maybe I am a brain dead noob. I can't even equip it in one hand. The chosen items for the build were really weird. However, one of them was amazing. The winged spear. The winged spear is my favorite weapon in Demon Souls. It is an absolutely absurd weapon. So let's pick one up on a dead body. I know exactly what one it's on about. Dead body in one, two. We're going. You run across the bridge quick and you just pick it up. All right. Next thing is the red dragon. You need to find a bow to kill it. Okay, no, I don't get it. Like, where, where do I even get the arrows from? I will need roughly 150 arrows! Bruh. Oh, no, the guide says it. If you don't like how it's done, leave the guide. The door's right fucking there, boys. You can go anytime you like. I've been stuck at this red dragon conundrum for about an hour now. I'm farming the red knight with fucking gravity for arrows. That's where I'm at. And if you've got an issue with that, Get a fucking tissue, and the door's right there. I am not exaggerating. I, I wish I was, but I was stuck here legitimately for an hour, farming arrows to kill a dragon. Go up to the top of the first tower, and here's a perfect spot to do some assassin practice. Boom. Oh my fucking god. 
tell me I did not see that number right. Now, I'm sure some of you watching might do this like, in a normal playthrough, and that's cool. I mean, it's kind of worth it for the souls, but the problem is the only reason we're doing this is to get the winged spear, which we can just run and pick up in like two seconds anyway. And the worst thing is we actually missed a kill. I don't know how. It, it just died somewhere else. I don't know how that happens. Lady entered in the video. Put, put the dragon death on screen. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna get a bit meta here. You can probably see the videos like, what, 10, 11 minutes by now? And it's like, wait, he's only at like 1-1? One, one? Yeah, all I did on the first fucking day was the phalanx and the dragon. That, that, that's it. The only other thing we did was get all the items for our build, but more importantly, we are gonna get our most important item, the compound longbow. Take the ash to 4-1. Those silver skeletons in the Shrine of Storms are very nasty. Not only did they scare the crap out of my niece, once they spot you, they will roll towards you really quick. <laughs> Is he playing with his niece sat next to him? I don't think I have a niece. If I had a niece, I'd try... Um... Hello? Hi, Mum, you alright? Yes, I am fine. What are you up to? I'm, I'm just dead from the uh, video. Can I, ask, can I ask you a quick question, please? I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, do, I, do I have a niece? A niece? Yeah. Don't be so fucking stupid. I try to sleep through the door. Oh, there's no physical way. There's no way. Oh, my effing lord. I'm going to throw... I've just lost my sword. I'm going to throw up in my mouth. This took us a very long time, longer than I'd like to admit, but we finally got the bow. And with this, that's all the items that we need for the build, apart from the red tier stone. And now we can actually play the game for a nice change. Now it's time to visit 2-1 Stone Fan Tunnel. Our objective for this area is to upgrade the compound longbow to a viscous plus five. Okay, now very ambitious, a plus five viscous. Then we got a remark, actually. Well, what I did like about the guide is that it includes people's comments. Like this one, you can't really, sorry, the webcam doesn't really focus. Comment. Remark from Lou Hayne. Do not upgrade the compound bow beyond plus three. Oh, I see, because you get to a plus three and then you turn it into a viscous compound bow. Because if you go, so if you go past plus three, yeah, I see what you're saying. Remark from the guide owner. Um, okay. Thanks for the advice, I guess. I was going to say this later, but whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. I just graduated from Pampa Game to Noob Gamer. Fuck off. And then, Something happened which I could have never guessed. The bow actually wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not extraordinary, but it, it has potential, especially with the red tear stone. I'm in Hokage mode right now, and I'm putting in the fucking. I'm giving them both barrels! Oh god, that scared me! Sorry, I just scared someone's niece. The miners are sacked, so they will drop a lot of ore when they're killed, so be sure to pick up every single drop you see. If you are over carry weight, you will be forced to walk. Pretty sad, right? <laughs> This is a first. Then it has a YouTube link. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to type it up from the paper. I've got it. of progress. All the items and weapons for the build are done, and now it's time to get serious. The day has just started. You will be dodging fireballs, just like Naruto. I told you that you would love this build. If you don't like anime, then you're so dumb. Like real, real dumb. Two days when we look to the second boss, fuck me. All right, boss 2-1, the armored spider. This boss is very easy to kill in assassin mode. Just hug the left wall and shoot it with arrows. With the thief ring on, his fireballs would not be able to hit you. I didn't think the thief ring made a fucking difference. 
Is this a joke? And I have to say as well, congratulations! You have graduated from a noob gamer to beginner gamer. I like, I like beginner gamer. Very humble. It is a very fun point in the game with patches, and why I do wonder what Gamefax has written for patches. He is a naughty boy, but you really do need him. He is the only merchant that sells unlimited hard arrows. The second best arrows in the game. What about the fucking grass? I'd like to imagine the grass is a bit. Yeah, hello, patches. I can fucking see you, mate. Hang on a second. I'll deal with you in a fucking moment. Oh, here we go. For some, the unlimited grass is okay too, but not that important compared to this. What? If you play the ball properly, you shouldn't need to heal anyway. Okay, he got me. I can't do this one. Now, I must ask you to commit suicide. No questions. Look, man. <laughs> Uh, this, this is meant to be a bit of fun, dog. I mean, game facts, I'm not sure if I'm ready to kind of do that. I'm just... It's time to get World 2 to a pure Black World tendency. All game, event and game. Now, I was really excited about this one because, no joke, I've never done the World Tendencies before. The catch is, you've got to be in human form while doing it. And this game recommends a very cheeky way of getting human. Winning PvP fights. You can get your human form back from P... Do I have it? which went about as well as you expected. What the fuck was that? Find a path to Skivir by jumping down. And I just kill Skivir. Is that him? Oh fuck boy. I'm not even. I don't even see the health bar move. Are you fucking joking? The people say, oh, just get the arrows and do it. I think the, the guy's assuming that I got lucky I got the drops I got. It thinks I got the viscous longbow right now. So therefore, it's saying that I need about 200 shots to kill it. But because I don't, it's going to take, it's going to take no joke, about 500 shots. I can't even hold 500 arrows because of the carry weight. And this is what I was trying to avoid for so long, but I no longer can. I had to farm for spider stone shards, spider stone chunks and pure spider stone. Now for the video, I'm cutting it out, but no joke, I'm not saying it's for reference or whatever, it, it was five hours, five hours of this. I'm not joking, I wish I was. It's assuming I'm doing this farm. I've been sat on a Sunday fucking night in shagging Boletaria in the fucking mines for five hours. Eventually though, after a very, very long time, we finally got the viscous plus five bow. Keep in mind, this is our end game bow. This is the bow we will be using all the way up now. The King of Land. That's it. So guys, this is five hours worth of work farming away. Is it worth it? <laughs> fucking God. I was gonna save this because it's a fucking, it's the funniest line of the guide yet. I wanted to leave this for a later because I saw it was funny. But get this remark from Gantz. 95. It says, what the hell, fucker? <laughs> this game got even harder after killing myself a bunch. I don't have any arrows left anyway after wasting them all on the dragon. <laughs> I'm not joking. He's put hate mail. Remark from Gantz 95. And he just says you mad. Gantz is right, all this for a fucking stupid talisman for a stupid wizard. I thought we were... Why did I spend five hours farming this? Just for a fucking talisman for a wizard. I'm a fucker! Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Yes! Come on! Talisman of the beasts. And that's it. That's, that's all we came for. And now we can actually get back to continuing the game. Hey, people watching this in the, at a later date in the video, if you're wondering why the second day we only did one thing, there's a fucking spider stone farm. That's all we did. Page 13, boys. Keep your textbooks open. Let's get into it. So a lot of people find this boss tough. But here's the deal. I have made this character build so good that even a noob could do it. You're not a noob. Are you? Equip the talisman of the beasts? 
Oh my god, bruh. This is it. I can't do this. This is it. The shield doesn't completely block it there, but good enough. The shield's putting in overtime, I have to admit. Maybe I was wrong. The shield is putting in fucking work here. Yes! Oh! No, 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 no! You don't understand! Congratulations! You have graduated from beginner gamer to lower gamer. Whoa, I'm at the lower echelon of gaming now, boys. I'm, I'm working my way up the ranks. But you know what's also good? You know what's also good? I get to do Dragon God now. Dragon God, if you don't know, is a pretty much a free boss. Once you kill it, continue on the path straight ahead to the boss, or it would be my pleasure. Killing the Dragon God is more like solving a puzzle. That's an interesting way of putting it. First, you need to get the Flame Spray spell, which can... What? First, you need the Flame Spray spell, which can be learned from Freak, imprisoned in the Tower of Electrion 3 1. Why do I need the Flame I'm not joking. No, I'm not joking. First, you need the Flame Spray spell. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm sorry, because I know in the previous video, a lot of people said, wow, you, sh you shout too much. This, is, this isn't a joke. You think I'm fucking joking? Do you think I want to get Flame Spray for the fucking Dragon God? At all? I'm genuinely mad. This isn't, this isn't a gig. This is genuine feelings, man. I'm fucking angry. Tower of Latria is a nasty place. Its corridors are frequently patrolled by Mind Flayers. It's got like these little brackets. No, no, this is weird. Um, as if it's like references. <laughs> I don't want to say a fucking thing. I just want to show it. You know what? It, it gets it gets serious points. Serious points for the fucking effort. Okay, starting arch done. Three one at the third floor. Your task is to find all of the keys scattered all over the place. Here's a fun drinking game. Take a drink every time you hear a scream. All right, we're gonna get absolutely fucking shit faced here, boy. Uh, oh, go on, go on. You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. Give me a fucking break! Oh, there's no need for that. And this is it, boys, we're coming up to a big moment here. Now, it is time to truly begin. Put this ring on and never take it off. We will be abusing this and staying at 30% health at all times. How about this? How about we just fucking don't do it? What he has done, to be quite honest with you, is absolutely disgusting. Fuck off, fuck off, get a, get a real job. Like, like, like me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got a Polaroid of a fat ass cat. I was like, oh my God, I got my mask. Look at this dude. I don't know. I don't know what he could be anywhere. Freak! Send it! Send it! And I was off my face, but I finally was able to learn flame spray. Bruh. Wait. Don't tell me. Right, also, I am going to eat this other soul. I need all the souls. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is good. Okay, I'm going to need like 200 arrows here. I used the soul, I used the soul. I'm sorry, game packs, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game packs. Game packs, I'm fucking sorry. This was the lowest point of the run. I mean, seriously, I was down bad. From this point forward, the clips were quite useless because I was smashed off me tits, boys. But I'm going to do a little voiceover to kind of catch up on things. One thing I have to quickly clarify, which I did not mention, is that the guide mentions nothing to do with saving that soul for the flame spray spell. Nothing. It did not mention it whatsoever. I had no way of knowing. And there was no way around it. We couldn't drop the spell. We couldn't drop the soul. We couldn't do anything. And the best thing I could possibly think of is co-op help. That's right. I had to get co-op help for the dragon god to use a flame spray spell on the rubble Bruh. that that's how bad it got i summoned the dragon god and i'm not afraid to admit it <laughs> stages of drunk can you drop me flame spray can you use flame spray can you just beat it for me that flame spray 
That's so shit. I can't beat the dragon god. I can't do it. Can you guys beat it for me? Yeah. I'm gonna tell them I want to jump out. I'm just like that. I've had like seven cans. I'm off my fucking nut. I fucking love Demon Souls. Day three. All right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Uh, what happened last night? Oh dear, that went, that went a bit too far. But it's not my fault. It's Game Facts' fault. So we have the red tear stone. As you can see, top left, the rat is there. The rat's the symbol in this game. The three-one boss, the fool's idol. She is able to summon clones of herself. Sai, if only I knew how to clone myself, then I could. I've just started. Then maybe I could get a beautiful chick. Like Sakura. This guy really likes Naruto, doesn't he? I want a beautiful Sakura chick too. I don't blame the guy. Now, I do have to say that the red tear stone ball build was pretty strong. However, I'm willing to bet anything with a red tear stone strong, but hey, it, it works. You're probably quite familiar with the stage by now. I went here once. If you run into any trouble with the flying manta rays, make sure to teach them a lesson. This is for Steve Irwin. Fucking A. And he's put a little gun emoji. And for this boss, we were seriously overleveled. It posed no issue whatsoever. And congratulations! You have graduated from average gamer to above average gamer. Or oh, what the actual fuck is this? I'm trying my best, Steve Irwin! Steve, I'm trying my best, mate! Steve! You all right? Uh, I don't know how, but it's working, man. That's what's getting me, man. It's working pretty fucking well. Once I get past this cave, I will face the 4-2 boss, Old Hero. If you put on the thief ring and walk around, he will not know where you are. It means pushing the left thumbstick very slightly so that your character begins to move like a stupid old lady. I don't know if it's like a... <laughs> I'm just a stupid old fucking lady. <laughs> you know what? That wasn't bad at all. And I have to say... Game Facts has done a good job here. Yeah? Congratulations! I have graduated from above average gamer to a good gamer. There are two approaches to deal with the Storm King. Approach one, the preferred way. Wear the thief ring and equip the ball. <laughs> However, like a lot of things in this guide, I was seriously surprised. The damage was actually amazing. Probably even better damage per second than using the storm room. I was absolutely speechless. It, it sounds shit, but it kind of works. It's so... The storm demon soul may be forged to the Marishan Blade. Marishan Blade will increase your damage by an extra 30% and that damage stacks with the clever rat ring. Or on the other hand, it can be used to learn a very useful miracle. Wait, no, no, no! I want the Marishan Blade! No, no, if I'm Red Tear Stone, I want the Marishan... The anti-magic field from Sir Urbane. In a first play, I recommend the magic... The, the anti-magic field is a very useful... Oh, no! For getting past Tower of Alatria! We already got past Tower of Alatria! Hard for me to fucking forget! I got absolutely shit-faced! Don't fucking physically believe this. This whole guide has been building up to God's wrath but I don't have the achievement slots for both of them. So that's it, all built up to anti-magic field. I'm so fucking glad I got it. Guy, get God's wrath spell also, disable all spells. Exactly! And for those of you wondering, yes, anti-magic field also blocks yourself from using magic. So that's it, all this build up into faith, magic, intelligence, and the charm was all to, d to disable all magic. I can't even believe that reading it back, but here I am. The guy from this point, pretty straightforward. It just wanted us to beat World 3. It does say, GO SLOW! And CHECK EVERY CORNER in all caps. The fuck do you want, prick? Ooh, Demon Souls didn't like that, did it? There's a path leading to some colorful lights, so feel free to jump down. Hello. Boom. Hey. Did I get you? If you jump down, you will be forced to free Yurt, the silent chief. He will start killing all your NPCs at the Nexus. 
He's checking all the corners. That's what Yurt's doing. He's trying to find a corner to check. There's no corners in a fucking circle. Okay, I have to interject here. Uh, yeah, I'm not really good with scary things, and I do find this scary. I am very sorry if you're watching this video with your niece, because she's probably going to get scared by this part too. That's fucking scary, man. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Right then, there are two man eaters that you need to fight. It is quite tough to try and fight two of them at the same time. Move to the left, as close to the fog as possible. Pull out your bow, and shoot arrows through the fog. I don't want to deduct points, because I feel like this would have been patched up, but if this is true. Since we couldn't do this method, we had to go in and fight it. However, it turns out the boss, it's just broken anyway. Don't tell me he's gonna keep going back and forth. Do not tell me he's just gonna keep doing this. You are taking the piss. Bit of sus gamer action. Right here from Dark Souls 2. Congratulations, you have graduated from good gamer to great gamer. Oh, shit. And for the last boss, the guy actually recommended going online and getting a PvP fight for the boss. I don't have any advice here because it depends on the other human's skill level and playstyle. I guess just don't suck lol. That's not a human. Is that a human? It is a human, isn't it? And thankfully, the lag was a pretty good thing for me. I managed to get the kill. And with that, it left us at just one final push for the guy. We've only got another eight pages to go. Whoever's written this, man, I, I want to meet him. I want to meet his parents. I did that joke in the IGN one, but I like that one so much. I brought it back around. I like meeting everyone's parents. Okay. So I lied. Next stream, we're playing FIFA. Day four. This is it, boys. This is the last day. And you know what? It, I, I can't wait for this to be over. But at the same time, I'm actually quite sad it's going to be over, I'm honest with you. I've grown to quite like this guy. On one hand, it is really difficult to play through someone else's weird methods. On the other hand, it's oddly charming. Oh, hang on a second, boys and girls. I have to interrupt. In this area, there will be a lot of opportunities to become poisoned. As such, this will be the only world which we do not run the red tear stone ring on. If you are poisoned with the health bar you're currently sitting at, it is likely to lead to your death. I would recommend getting the evacuate spell. And <laughs> wait, what? Every time I get poisoned, I have to homeward bone and <laughs> restart the level. It sounds cute for poison, Bruh. but I can't use it. <laughs> I, have to, I have to use evacuate. Second chance. Why is the guy not mentioned second chance? That sounds literally perfect. Okay. Good start to the day. Wait, oh shit. I'm just gonna have to, I just have to restart. That's, it's so interesting. It's, it's kind of like a soul level one with, with the health bar. Or it's kind of like a segmented hitless run. I'm doing a hitless run, but in like shorter segments. You know what I mean? The Leech Wonga is a very easy boss to defeat. Just stay at the top and shoot it with arrows. It will attempt to heal itself, but arrows from the viscous compound ball and clever rat ring will out damage the heal. I'm not gonna die to leech longer. Come on, let's get fucking real. Holy shit! Didn't stand a fucking chance. Uh oh. Oh fuck. Uh, 20k souls. I don't even get out of bed for less than 20k souls, mate. Fucking don't worry about it. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. You did not level up your gaming skills. This one was easy. Brother, this guy stinks. I can't even con I can't continue. But I'll do it for you guys. Ooh! The wrinkling demon soul is very important for later. But I will not say why. Ooh, uh, I mean I. Uh, I like surprises game facts, but I am deadly fucking curious. <laughs> What's the big fuck? Why won't you tell me? Everyone I have talked to hates this boring place because of the toxic poison swamp and the creepy bug insects. If they make a Demon Souls 2, I'm sure they won't make the same mistake again. Have I got news for you, game facts? Have you heard of Blight Town? <laughs> so at this point in the run, things were going pretty fine until this happened. Remark. Oh, got a remark. So the adjudicator shield here does more than just heal up. While walking through the poison of the swamp, if you hold up the shield, it will block the poison sludge from affecting your character. 
This is not a fucking way. No, this is a, this is a, this is a whole wooden shield. I'm blocking frenzy thing. Actually, I want to correct myself. Hey, you know the last IGN video when there was the, the frenzy and the blocking the wooden shield? Play the, play the cliff, Lenny. No way. There's no way. No, no joke. In the first, like, 0 0.01 version of Bloodborne, you can block a frenzy with the wooden shield. I'm not even going to entertain it. I know it doesn't work. I'm not even going to fucking entertain it. Oh my god, I did not think he was gonna do that. That scared me. That actually scared me a little bit. Get the sword, get the sword. Boom! The Moonlight Sword here is quite light and very powerful. Perfect for our build. Well, guys, I've never I've never used this sword before. Bruh. But I did want to read this extra bit here. In case you guys didn't know, you're about to get fucking educated. Remark! Bet you didn't know that this is actually a Kingsfield reference. Come on, guys, we're learning today. Come on now. Kingsfield! was a Japanese exclusive RPG. Not only do you need a Japanese PlayStation to fuck off, but also you need to be able to read Japanese. Now the question comes up, is this guy a bit of a weed? Can he read Japanese? You tell me. You tell me. Fuck me. I hate Soul Level fucking one. Look, listen, I didn't want to spoil it. In Elden Ring, I actually did some voice work. I didn't want to spoil that. But um, if you actually listen close, there's a one in 10,000 chance when he, when he talks, he goes, fucking umbassador, gorgeous. So the thing is, at this point in the run, I've been using the bow so much, I was actually getting really comfortable using it. For example, at the boss here, I find a safe spot, and I just take it out with no problem. And it was looking like the rest of the run was going to be pretty easy. Until we get to King of Land. Congratulations! You have graduated from great gamer to awesome gamer. Yes! Take the Astro to 5-3 and find the fog gate to the last boss right away. And you should be able to snipe the true boss assassin style. Oh. This, this one's just weird, man. This one's just fucking weird. If you feel bad about shooting this defenseless woman, then don't worry. She's actually pure evil. This one felt good to me since I got dumped a few weeks back. <laughs> I kind of want to help you, but that's a bit fucking psycho, mate. What do you mean it felt good because you got dumped a few weeks back? It's a bit fucking sus. A bit sus there. I got an achievement, though. I'll tell GameFAQs about the achievement. Have you seen the fucking stir easing? Oh, he doesn't know, know what to do. Oh. It was the final push of the game. I completely forgot that we haven't done a Tower Knight yet. I think everyone forgot about that one. Obviously, it was no problem. We were overleveled for it. And now, it was King of Land. And I gotta be honest, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. How we are gonna do that with a Red Tear Stone Ring Bow build? It's been another cock up. Let's see if you can fucking spot it. The one, two, Heartstone, head straight down to the fountain and up the stairs. And make your way through the large gate. Oh my god, a boulder trap! No fucking way! There's two more bosses. I can't believe it. We're finally here. In my opinion, this is the hardest... Wait. This is the hardest fight of Demon Souls. And the true test of your accumulated gaming skills. Remember everything I've taught you. It's hard to fucking forget it. That's all the bosses down! Wait, you're missing, you're missing something there, mate. I think you're fucking forgetting King of Land, mate. What the hell? Oh my god, that's actually good damage. I'm actually, I'm actually dog shit. I'm actually so dog shit. Come on. Boom! Hokage mode. Activate. Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Deadly curious now, though. Why the hell does King of Land not count? He is very fucking hard. Red tear stoned. Probably gonna be a huge fucking problem. One last time, boys and girls. I just wanna say, congratulations! You have graduated from awesome gamer to god gamer! Your final evolution is right there. That is the final gamer rank. We have come a long way. Well, according to the guide, we've already beaten the final boss. So, I actually am quite interested see what they've written for King of Lant. Oh god, here we go. Okay, this is it, the final boss. And oh boy, is it a tough one. Don't worry though, you've already proven your gaming skills to me. 
I shall reward you! I have the poison cloud, spell equipped. The one from the leechmonger. If you guys go back... No! No, what is going on? Make sure you're in soul form and equip the thief ring. Enter the boss room, but don't move. What the fucking hell? Kick, false King Alant will walk up slowly, but eventually will stop and turn around. You should very slowly approach him, old lady grandma style, until you're right behind him. Then cast your poison or death cloud and watch that baby burn. This may take some time, but it is so funny to see a boss that so many struggled with being pawned. There's no way, no, 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 you don't understand. They've, pa they've patched that out. There's no way that's in the original still in this one. I'm going to be shooting fucking King Alant with arrows. It's going to be happening. There's no way. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. My hands are up. There's King Alant. He's got a face like a fucking slapped ass. Don't move. This music's really killing the technique. This music's killing me. No way. moment right there fucking get in well i guess while this is going on we may as well wrap up and talk about our thoughts and feelings about the game facts guy i mean ah jeez, man this was a hard one to call it really is i mean on one side it had some very very far out there strats even though i dissed it i actually really did enjoy playing with the bow i mean i know with red tear storm ring anything does good damage with a red tear storm but i did enjoy Going back to that 2009 humour. I loved seeing the XDs unironically again. That was fun. No, I tell you, no, my favourite thing, the gamer levels. The gamer levels. Things I didn't like though. I mean, come on now. You have, you have to think. Who's going to be following a guide? Probably newcomers who don't know how to play the game. Why are we telling newcomers to go burn a red tear stone? It is an absolute joke. Really pointless shit. Do you remember when we got to the Dragon God? Like... That's like a free 50k souls. Nah, go back and get the fucking flame spray. And it didn't even mention that was a boss soul weapon. It's a bunch of just inane random shit. Here, there, everywhere. Go ahead, but out the... God. Also, for the video, I don't know, Lenny, now's the time to put up all the points on screen. I don't know who's winning. You know, if I had to guess right now, it's hard to call. I tell you what, in my opinion, just for a normal playthrough, I think Gamefax wins. But I think... If you consider that this is someone's first playthrough and you're telling newcomers to use a red tear stone pop, I think if you consider that fact, I might win. If you consider it as a normal blank sheet, I think game facts might take this one, you know? Genuinely curious, what, what bits did you like guys like the most? I think for me personally, it's gotta be Gans95. Because what the hell, fucker? <laughs> I think that, I love that bit. See, I'd love to hear what you guys, like, what you, some of your favorite moments. I'm, I'm not just saying that for YouTube kind of engagement. I genuinely, I'm really curious. Yeah, <laughs> Alan's just staring off. He fucking, you know what? When I think about it, I think Alant's had a bad day, hasn't he? Alant's had a bad day. Alant, if you want a bit cheering up, mate, I've got a perfect video for you. Uh, have a watch of that, mate. Let's go fucking let's go! Send it, send it, send it! Gamefax, G, G Gamefax. And that is it, boys and girls. The maiden in black will lure the old one to its slumber. And that's it, guys. Oh, Jesus! Bloody fucking Christ! And oh, God! I've not, I've not seen that before. That's, that's, oh, God, I didn't like, I didn't like that.